还有就把我们当做。It's the retirement people dream of, having the time and energy to learn something new. They may be old in age, she says, but they're young at heart. Before I came here, she says, I had rheumatism, shoulder pain, and joint pain. Without me doing anything, I was cured. Here is Sanya, the southernmost city in China. It's on a tropical island. And it's a haven for a new generation of Chinese snowbirds. It's warmer than northern China and less smoggy too. Almost half a million snowbirds now come here every year, and the number's growing fast. There's a building boom underway to accommodate them all. As China gets richer, more of its retirees have the money for a lifestyle they never believed possible. The changes have been enormous and unexpected, he says. In the old times, how could we even imagine this? Then only the factory manager could afford a car. Now there are private cars everywhere. Not long ago, most people in China went home for the holidays. Now many come to the sunshine to join snowbird parents, part of broader shifts to Chinese New Year traditions. When we were little, he says, we loved to buy new clothes and light firecrackers. But as time goes by, some traditional customs are fading as living conditions rise. We can have good food any time now. This is the first time Zhao Xiaobo has come to Sanya for Chinese New Year. He brought his family to join his in-laws, who are spending the winter here. He's already making plans to come back. Because there's one Chinese New Year's tradition that hasn't changed. As long as the whole family are together, he says, it doesn't really matter where we are. <laughs> <laughs>